Hello everybody, this is a letter on Hawaii. This is the third attempt at folding this and describing it properly. It's a little tricky to describe the folds, but it's called origato and it's a pouch that we make in Hawaii, where I live, and um, it's local. And it makes a nice gift and it's called origato, if I didn't say that before, it's sort of like origami. And all you need is one piece of fabric and two seams and you've done it. The fabric should measure five and a half wide, five and a half wide, and it's going to be 18 inches long. You can interface it if you like, or line it, but I always spray it a couple of times with some starch, and that, that does it for me. So then you start folding, and the first fold is going to be from the top down. And you're going to fold on the wrong side. You're going to fold it down five inches on the wrong side. I'm just looking at my notes. So you fold it that way. So that's wrong side. So the right side's coming down five inches. Then you fold from the fold one. I don't know whether you can see that. It's hard for me to measure it here because of my sewing machine in the way. But anyway, it's one and five eighths inches, and you fold it again. And of course, each time you do this, you press it like that. Then you're going to flip it to the other side, which is right side facing up for a little bit. And you're going to fold down again, and, and that's about an eighth of an inch from the fold. The, this should be the cut edge. I actually left it as a selvage, edge. But anyway, it's the cut edge about an eighth of an inch down from that, so you don't want it right up to the fold. And then on the opposite end, we're almost there, by the way, almost there, and so far I don't think I've messed up too much. Okay, so then the uh, other end, so all these folds are here, we're still with the right side facing. The other end, you are going to fold up three and a half inches. There, three and a half inches, press it, and then fold back right in the middle there and press it. And that's all the folds. Oh yay! If we did it right, that should be it. So now you've got something that looks like this. And it's the right side. The right the wrong side should look like that. So now you're going to put the right sides together. And I always take a couple of pins so it doesn't shift on me. And if you put the heads facing out, they're easier to pull out. And I'll put another one. Let me see here. I'm just putting the. I've got to make sure, you've got to make sure that these meet exactly there. So there's one. So there. So you've got all those folds and that there and then there's a fold the other end. And this is here. Now all you need to do is sew both sides. Back stitching preferably at each end. And I'll just show you what you should come up with. If it all works out right <laughs> Oh, it's always <laughs> tricky. Anyway, you can decorate the flap. It's a bag with a flap. Inside is an, a little area to put uh, Kleenex. So I've got some Kleenex in there, holiday Kleenex. And in this area is the pocket. And you can put your keys, you can put money, cards, whatever. And you can decorate the flap or not. This one I decorated the flap. I make a whole different lots of these, so I'll show you some other at some point. So this is one where the flap is not decorated. You don't need to put Velcro or anything. Here's the place for the Kleenex. Here's the pocket for whatever. And it stays nicely closed just like that. You could put Velcro or a snap, and you could put a button if you wanted, or 
decorate it if you want. So here we go. So now I'm going to sew the sides one press a foot width away. Okay, so that's that. So now I've folded it. As you can see, it's folded on both sides. I hope you can see anyway. And you'll notice that there are four partitions here, so you need to find the center. And you put your hand into the center. First of all, you put it in the center, and you turn it. And this is the time when it's at this point, because there's another fold yet. I like to give it a nice little push in the corners here, because once you've done the next fold, you can't really get at these corners very easily. Anyway, so that's done that. Now the next thing to do is to finish the Kleenex part of it. As you see, I've got the pocket here. Here's the flap. And then on this side, you'll notice you've got this. This you need to flip over. And you can kind of push out the corners again. And that's it, my dear. There you go, friends. To give it a nice little press. You could, if you wanted, give it another spray starch. This is the flap. And then you can just go ahead, really, and decorate it how you like. You might want to put something like I did on this one. You could also put a person's name on it or their initial. So I say it might look nice with a button, special button. You could even tie it, attach a ribbon here and a ribbon around the back here, and tie it in a bow. That would be nice as well. Or you could, um, I was making some flowers this morning, you know, you could put a, it's not finished yet, but you could sort of flatten out a rose and put that on there. Uh, you could sew some pearls or beads on, just however you like. But anyway, that's my Kleenex purse or Regatti style. And um, I couldn't find any... <laughs> Kleenex that went with it. These are four Kleenex though, so this is work this works. So here we go, I'll just put those in there. And I'll have to go and buy some. So there you go. And as I say, you can pop whatever you want in there if you've got some I don't know, let's see, what have I got? Well you could put a greeting card that you've made in there to, from, that kind of thing. You could put tags in there. Just whatever takes your fancy. I love these. These are really helpful. I've got uh, four more patterns, different, different things, that I'll show you as time goes by. I'll try and get them done in the next week. Hope you enjoyed that. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.